Hello Virgo, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at love and relationships for the next week, which is April 11th. I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind there will be some messages that will resonate with you and some that won't. And that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Now Virgo, you ready? <laughs> Alrighty, so recent past. Current situation and future, near future. Alrighty, looks good to me. At the very end of the reading, I am going to pull some cards out for what the other person is thinking. What is the obstacles or what's in the middle of you? What is there? And the outcome or surprises. So stay tuned with me till the end. And let's go. Now, your card. Nine of Wands. Hmm. And we are right <clears throat> there next. Six of Swords. And the world. I had to take them. Sorry. <laughs> I usually take only one. But these ones definitely were talking to me. Right, so you have made some sort of decision here. And whatever you're feeling by making this decision, Virgo, you feel like top of the world, world class, worldly kind of energies actually are involved. So the reason you took the Six of Swords with you to go to smoother waters, to go somewhere else, to take yourself away from some sort of negativity or... But sometimes it's nine ones. It's not really... It's talking just five minutes before the end, okay? You feel like you can't take anymore. And in normal situations... In normal readings, you would say, okay, this is the card, you don't quit. But no one can tell that. No one's been in your shoes. Once you make a decision, you go for it. And what Six of Swords is kind of teaching us, when you leave, when you move on, try to take the best with you. Don't take the negativity, don't take the guilt, the regrets, um, nothing like that. Right. There have been some turmoil here. Okay, let's see what is with you guys. Whew. I feel like I've been through the journey myself here. In recent past, Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So, have you felt very sensitive towards what's been said to you? Because this card is coming, it's like clean and nice energies, but sometimes regarding other cards, I feel like there is a bit sensitivity. And because we have the pure emotions here, you might pick up the vibrations that are surrounding and reading maybe sometimes very in detail, sit there, analyze it. Because Four of Pentacles is sometimes quite stagnant relation no, energies. But it is as well, you hold on to things. You don't let go. And was that the reason that you had to wait until the Nine of Wands came in and you just said, okay, that's it. Something has to give. Hmm. Well, the love is there. The pure love, the pure emotions. It's clean. Your heart is clean. Your conscience is clean. Wow. Whew. 
I feel like I feel like I'm in a journey with you guys because you walk again you walk away like how many times you can walk away and it's not just walking away in spite and in a temper in in a moment but this is planned okay this you have planned you have sat on that thought for a while and analyzed and analyzed and analyzed but i can see you can you are doing it on with no regrets with no guilt with no blame which is good that's what six of swords is teaching us you leave that lower energies behind Wow. Oof. Very cool. Okay. Near future. It's like a new chapter starting. Literally, you could you could draw a line here <laughs> and start a new one. So you're meeting someone. And it just sparks like that. Because King of Wands is real passionate. When King wants wants something, oh boy, he's going for it. Oh boy, he's going for it. Well, it's fire. The house is on fire. And you, you know what? Happily ever after. Isn't that what we're all after? It definitely kind of... Even though the start kind of felt quite a little bit heavy and deep, and everyone could actually everyone could actually feel it, the journey and how much you have gone through. But it felt worth it, absolutely worth it. Okay, Virgo, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's find out what the other person is thinking. What are the obstacles? What is between you? What's in the middle? What is the outcome? And what are surprises? Whew. The drum's going off. Here we are. Right. So there's definitely cards on the table. Literally, guys. There is no other explanation. It's like the person says, here, yeah, there is my heart. This is what it is. This is who I am. That's what I do. Really good start. It's a great start. It's a good start. Pure energies. Love it. Really love it. Whew. Okay. What is in the middle of you? It's in between you. Do you know what? Very often... I would look at if that's an obstacle but this time i'm looking what's in the middle between you guys and i'm surprised this is so weird because a lot of signs get this it must be some sort of collective thing going on soul spirituality because full is a symbol of soul and you're going for it you even the dog has barking saying listen full you're gonna fall down you're going to get hurt. But he's now. I'm saying he's because that, that's male here in the picture. He's saying, no, I'm going for it. And with the gesture that, oh, it's going to be good. I'm, 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 I have faith. I have trust. And hence we have this Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about faith. I know what I'm doing. I know why I'm doing it. Whew. And outcome and surprise. Gosh, you gonna set the house on fire, guys. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Match made in heaven. What can I say? Happy ever after. Virgo, and you will deserve it. <laughs> you do well deserve it. Right. Right, I'm just absorbing what's happened here. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And thanks for being here. Until the next time. Bye-bye.